is a hell of a fish if this is hooked in the mouth. I'm not sure if I'm playing the fish or it's playing me. After a full half hour, finally it begins to tire. Gosh, incredible fish. This monster is a catfish, but the wrong one. Mekon giant catfish. Uh, it's still fighting me. It's still fighting me, this fish. Mekon giant catfish. This fish is known to grow over 600 pounds. Only 650 pounds is the biggest one authenticated. But this one actually rose and took a piece of maize dangling under a float. Took something about the size of my fingernail. Can you imagine? Turned into a fish like this. Incredible, strong fish. I'm deep in the jungles of Suriname, hunting for the wolf fish. A creature that, according to the people I've spoken to, is more fearsome than even piranhas. The question is, do I have one on the end of my line? All right, that's a new species for here. That's a red-tailed catfish. That's about the size of what I want, but it's not the wrong species. The local name for these fish is the Motro Tijali, right. which translates as motor car oh, on account of all the noises they make when out of the water. Oops, red tail catfish. It's uh, another species that's active at night. Not what I was after, but that's quite interesting just to see a bit of the variety here. It's a familiar species to me, but in a different part of South America. Bit of excitement. But the wrong kind of excitement. It's drawn with rain as if it's heavy. You just get all this rubbish coming off the land and colouring the water. And if you're fishing for a sight predator like the Nile perch, you know, you can forget it. Luckily, I've got a little bit of a clear patch here next to the bank, but it's actually colouring up as I speak. You know, if more runoff comes from the land or if it rains more, you know, it could just put an end to the fishing for me. Could this be the catch that proves truly giant Nile perch are still out there? That is definitely a fish. The trouble is over there. There's a big storm coming in. With lightning coming down. The storm seems to have swung back around, and this is exactly what I didn't want. My carbon fibre rod in the air like a lightning conductor as the wind picks up. An incredible 10,000 people are killed by lightning strikes worldwide every year, and Uganda is known for having the highest frequency of thunderstorms anywhere in the world. Ha, that's a catfish. It looks to be quite a good-sized catfish. I've got to land this fish before the storm returns. That's actually, okay, it's after an isle perch, but that's a nice sized catfish. This one is uh, a Semitundu catfish, and well, it's missing a bit of its tentacle here, but uh, I mean, totally different from the isle perch. Long body shape. I mean, it's a predator as well. You can see the muscle blocks here very clearly on the side. Catfish are right at home in the muddy water with their strong sense of smell and ability to sense movement in the murk. It's probably not much of a surprise I caught one of these rather than a Nile perch. Right, get this back in the water very quickly and then I think we've got to run for it. Oh. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, If this one pulls me over, I'm in real trouble. It's nearly tipping forward over that edge there. It's going a little bit. <sighs> My groin is starting to ache. Yeah. That rod's jammed in. This is physical stuff. Physical work. It's coming up. Strong fish. But I think it's, yeah, it's tiring. Tiring, tiring. There it is. There's the fish. Hey. Good grief, my crutch is killing me. And there it is. But does it weigh more than 150 pounds? For the measure of the beast, that is seven foot one, two, three, four, seven foot four inches. And then you open the mouth. You can actually hear the echo coming out of the mouth there. Uh, hello, hello. Um, and I can see its gullet opening and closing. I, if I was so inclined, I could put my fist down there quite easily. That is an eating machine. The whole thing is nearly eight foot of just solid rippling muscle. If that grabbed hold of your leg, that's an unpleasant enough thought, but if that decided not to let go and you were swimming, you'd be history. I'm about 175 pounds on a good day or a bad day, depending how you look at it. Um, this fish could be more than that. 74 kilos, that's about 163 pounds. Not quite as big and fat and ugly as I am.